Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 and welcome to an overview, a product overview. Uh, tat. Basically anyone is expecting a Fat Friday video then I do apologise but it's the hottest day of the year so far and quite frankly all I could face eating today was a cheese and salad sandwich. I know, I know, I'm not a fan of heat as probably you well know. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that it's so damn noisy I would have two fans on me right now. Anyway, you don't care about any of that. What you care about is what you saw in the thumbnail. Now, ordinarily, particularly for this price, because I think this is a tad expensive, but there's a reason why I bought this to give it a try, and we'll get to that in a moment. But I bought the 40th anniversary Space Raiders game keyring from B&M. Hence the fact that it's, that's their logo there, it's a sticker, and eight quid, which I thought was very, very, very expensive. And I'll tell you something else. It's too damn big to be a key ring. They also had the Pac-Man one there, but they didn't have any other ones. Uh, I'm not a fan of the plastic packaging. I'm pretty much more of a box guy. Um, awkward. Space Invaders Game Keyring, original sounds plus gameplay, large, quick fire button and LCD screen. You've got your invaders on the back in their original art style and stuff like that. Now, why did I buy this? Particularly when for eight quid, I've got handheld tat that can run MAME. I've bought for eight quid, and I mean new, not second hand. Right, where are my scissors? Here are my scissors. So why did I buy this? Well, um, Space Invaders is what? One of the big three, Space Invaders, Pac-Man and Pong, were like the, the ones that basically blew gaming, you know, like arcade gaming out of the water, I mean, like make, make millions and stuff like that, and set off a whole franchise, or franchises, I should say. What batteries do, of course, of course, there's a screw on the back. But that said, now, my brain just thinks how accurate a version of Space Invaders can you do on an LCD screen? And the reason I say that is, before my, my ZX Spectrum, before, you know, home micros and things like that, before consoles, your 2600s and things like that, even before your Binatone plug-and-play Pong-esque games, LCD technology, um, mainly thanks to watches, I guess, was kind of what we had at home. This feels so light without batteries. What we had at home to get our gaming and or arcade experience between that and games that consisted of actual sort of lights and things like that. And we loved it and it blew our minds and it, you know, it was a big, big, big industry. So part of me wants to have a kind of throwback to that and see if, God knows I'm going to capture it, it is actually, you know, still relevant. You, well, it's not really still relevant, but you know what I mean? still playable. I just can't see that this can do a good version of Space Invaders. Now, obviously, you've got your left, your right, and your fire, and then you've got... I don't know. I can't read it. I haven't got my glasses. Figure it out for yourselves. I'm guessing it's skill and stuff like that. Someone very kindly in the comments section a while ago did point out to me why these things have screws on, and it's because it's to stop kids choking on the screws, which makes sense, though I kind of figure that that, if they're stupid enough to do that, well, you know, that's just like thinning out the morons from the gene pool. So, long story short, take it off. Let's keep the gene pool clean. Anyway, I'm going to assume, well, I'm going to get a screwdriver and I'll be back. I'm going to assume it's triple A's. I can't see that it'll be a watch battery, and I'm basing that on the size of the hatch. But yeah, it's got your Space Invaders logo as well at the top like that, but... You know, it is what it is. The Pac-Man machine was like this, but it was yellow and had like the logos and stuff on it. I mean, would you really, would you really have this on your car keys? I mean, first of all, it's going to get brutally destroyed in your pocket by the keys around it. But I guess that's just a marketing gimmick. Personally, I would have reached it without that and just called it a mini handheld. What do I know? Anyway, as I said, Space Invaders is a classic. So let's hope this does it some form of justice. Well, I go and get a screwdriver and some AAA batteries. Right, so I've removed the screw and quite frankly binned it because it has no use as a safety device in this house. Uh, and it does take AAA batteries, as I said. It takes two, which to me seems to be a bit overkill, surely. You know, I mean, large screen, it's LCDs, but I don't know how the tech works. But yeah, two, 
Why not one? Anyway, so you've got start, pause, uh, sound, and you've got on, off, and obviously far left and right. So we'll go with on, off, hold it down, and, and wow, it's Space Invaders. I don't know if you can see that. It's not going to win any prizes for clarity of screen, but it's LCD, so if you know what, liquid, crystal display, look it up. I'm sure it tells you on Wikipedia how it works. I would explain to you, but it's too hot and I really can't be bothered. So what happens if I press uh, start? Hold it down. And yes. Can any of you can hear that? It's very quiet. Got the sound effects from the arcade they're like shouldn't it be a, eh, 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 eh. i don't know right uh sound again oh he's dead so that's it that's the highest nothing medium highest that's poor but hey and as you see it looks like is he still he's still in there i guess it's space invaders I don't know how many waves it's got, but let's see if we can capture some footage. I can tell you right now, before I round up, this is not worth eight quid. Right, I've got a lamp pointing directly at this. If I angle this any differently, you're going to see every um, sprite. That's not the right, you know what I mean. Every part of the screen or every character displayed on it. So, on. There we go. And then, start. Volume. Oh. So, look, you got your bases, you got your, they do have the noise, actually, to be fair. So, you know what? I cannot see anything I'm doing, but it's Space Invaders. I can't see their enemy or their bullets. I can't see my bullets. That's the dude at the top. Do you know what? It's like, it's Space Invaders. Uh, obviously, if I was playing this myself, I would be able to see stuff. But because I'm trying to capture it for you, I can't. But looking through my camera screen, I can actually see it a lot better than I can when I'm playing it. What's that say? <laughs> but you know what? To be fair, I'm dead. Uh, it's it's Space Invaders. Come on. Did he? No. Very difficult to see them. Come on, let me get a wave. A Mexican wave. Come on, come on. I'm sure they should have sped up a little bit more by now. Timing. Hey, well, there you go. It's Space Invaders. What? Uh, I really don't know what I was expecting, so I was probably being a bit pessimistic towards it, you know, at the start of this video, because just because of what we have now, and like I said, the things I've managed to buy that can run stuff like main for the equivalent price. I understand that this is, well, it's still going to be made in China, but it's sold in a mainstream sort of high street store. But it's a perfectly playable version of Space Invaders. It's a perfectly playable version of Space Invaders. Granted, you need to be in a very well-lit area. Um, I don't know if I would say outside. But, yeah, I mean, I guess to some degree, uh, I mean, since I grew up on stuff like this before we got hands on, you know, Spectrum and consoles and things like that. I mean, early consoles, like, you know, um, like I said, the Binatone, you know, select play Pong machine and stuff like that. Um, it's been so long and I can hardly remember, but they would have been a big deal for me back then. And I would have, you know, uh, persevered with them for hours and hours, regardless of how poor they were. So that kind of, you know, the ravages of time has kind of somewhat, you know, skewed me on it. But this is a really decent playable version of Space Invaders. I'm really really quite surprised uh would i recommend it hell no not for eight quid unless you are massively into these sort of things which to be fair you could be if you're my age uh i would be very interested to see how it manages to do pac-man um simply because of the so-called number or i say so-called because how many is it going to actually allow you to have with bad guys on the screen at once um but you know uh i can't be asked to drop eight quid on it but if anyone's out there has got the pac-man version of this from bnm let me know but yeah do you know what it's not worth eight quid but it's a bit of fun and it does actually play Space Invaders. So, as always, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.